Okay, today we're pretty fortunate. We're going to be checking out some dragon fruit. Looks like we've got a ripe dragon fruit. If you can see there. This is really a special day because it's my first time ever having a dragon fruit. Uh, so this one felt pretty ripe. It had nice coloring at the store. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. See what kind of dragon fruit. Uh, it slices through pretty nicely. And what I, I've seen these in pictures and whatnot, and it's pretty amazing when you open them up. Oh my god, look at that. Whoa, look at that dragon fruit. That's amazing. So I was reading dragon fruit. Wow, look at that. Wow, look, take a look at that. Look close. Look at that. Dragon fruit. I was reading that dragon fruit is actually native to Mexico originally, but it's cultivated um, in a lot of Southeast Asian countries. And it's rather low in calories, uh, but the seeds have a lot of oils in them. And you can't really get them consumed, though, unless you chew them. So this dragon fruit looks pretty good. Uh, I don't... I've never had dragon fruit before, so let's, we're going to try it. It's remotely flavorful of kiwi, I'm told. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Now, I just took a shot on this dragon fruit, and honestly, it, I don't think it's ripe. It kind of tastes like soil. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Dragon fruit. Uh. First impressions. It's not super sweet. It's not super sweet fruit. Now, go ahead and post comments below. Tell me if my experience with dragon fruit is normal. If this is normally what dragon fruit tastes like. Now what I have, it's a very earthy, kind of dirt flavor. Um, kind of tastes like, mm, almost a texture of a uh, al dente, like zucchini. Yeah. Al dente zucchini. Uh, dragon fruit. Now I'm eating more of it. I'm starting to appreciate it a little bit more. Uh, also, the pitaya, known as the pitaya. Cactus fruit. So, there you go. Let me know in the comments below if the pitaya, the dragon fruit, is supposed to have more of a savory taste than a real sweet taste. So let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.